For 35 years, she's maintained her innocence. Now, Nancy Rich is about to get out of prison decades after being convicted in a high-profile murder case. CBS2 political investigator Dana Kozlov is in our Streetside studio. Dana, it's all because of a law allowing domestic violence victims to apply for a reduced sentence. Yeah, Brad, it allowed her attorneys to ask a judge to take another look at her life sentence with new information about how years of domestic abuse may have contributed to her actions. I hold so much grief and sorrow for his family and his loved ones to this very day and will always. Words of remorse from 59-year-old Nancy Rich on the same day she learned she really will be getting out of prison this year instead of dying behind bars. My most sincere and deepest apology for the most regrettable mistake of my life. Rich has been locked up since being convicted of the 1987 kidnapping and murder of Kankakee businessman Stephen Small. I'm certain that it was expected that the sentence would be stiff. Danny Edwards, Rish's boyfriend at the time, now faces a life sentence for luring Small to a house he was renovating, putting him in a six by three plywood box and burying him alive for ransom money. From the beginning, Rish said she had no idea what Edwards was up to when she drove him to and from crime scene locations. I did not knowingly participate in this crime that took the life of Stephen Small. However, I do take responsibility for my actions. Rich's attorneys petitioned the court for a reduced sentence using a 2016 law allowing defendants to challenge a sentence if they can prove they were a victim of domestic abuse at the time and none of that evidence was presented at trial. Experts agree that the effects of domestic violence last a lifetime. Her attorney, Margaret Burns, says Rich was abused throughout her life by many people, including Danny Edwards. The reason she followed his order to pick him up in the middle of the night at an odd location was that he had threatened to kill her eight-year-old son. He had a gun. She believed he would do that. Burns says Rich has also been a model prisoner, another reason prosecutors agreed to the sentence reduction from natural life to 70 years. But she'll be out in September for good behavior credit. Illinois Attorney General Kwame Raoul co-sponsored that domestic violence sentencing bill when he was still a state senator. However, he did not believe that Rich's case met the standards for that law. He did not want to comment today, Brad. Fascinating, Dana. What about uh, Stephen Small's family? He had a wife and three sons. Yeah, I tried, but was unable to reach them for comment. I do know they moved out of state after the conviction. Brad. Okay, CBS2 investigator Dana Kozlov. Dana, thank you.